What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more holiday music, which is to say, uh, given that this reaction batch will be posted on New Year's Eve, and by the time I do any more reactions, what is technically now tonight, like after I sleep and go to work and come home again, those reactions will be up what is the AM on New Year's Day for me, but it's actually like a quarter of the people who follow my channel come from the States. It's something like 65 to 70% come from different parts of Europe. So for the majority of them, not this batch, but the next batch, it'll be posted, you know, like noon or later in the afternoon on New Year's Day. So I felt like this session was the one to do two different versions of Auld Lang Syne. So the first version we're going to do is from the Mannheim Steamroller Christ uh, Christmas Extraordinaire album. This is 2003. Uh, and ultimately, it's the final tune on the album. Oh, is it 2001? I can't, it's like the print is so small, but I think, yeah, it does say 2001, so um, it's even older than I thought. Uh, but yeah, ultimately, as you might expect, capping off the season of holiday music, they use Auld Lang Syne, written by Robert Burns, uh, and ultimately used in a number of prominent uh, holiday entertainments and films, most notably I think for a lot of people, certainly for me, It's a Wonderful Life, uh, which I probably am going to do a watch along for next year, you know, not that I won't be uh, joking here and there like usual, but it's a more dramatic and emotional movie by the end, so that'll be a sort of like a, just a fun watch along, you know, not even so much uh, quipping. Either way, I'm looking forward to that next year, uh, and in the time being. Let's listen to Mannheim Steamrollers' version of Auld Lang Syne on their Christmas Extraordinaire album, 2001.
Well, shout out to them. That was cool. Uh, it was, you know, it started a bit more different than I expected. Um, and as it went along, it got more in line with, with what I was thinking it might sound like. Obviously, the choir coming in at the end really nailed home, nailed home, um, brought forth a more, um, like, typical sound for a rendering of this tune. So, yeah, I enjoyed the progression of the track. I enjoyed the combination of, again, like, natural instruments and electronic sounds. Uh, I look forward to going through more of this uh, album once we get back around to the holidays again. I may still do, there's like one or two Christmas reactions. I wanted to do more than one from the Ovita Adams Christmas album and more than one from the Ray Charles Christmas album. So I'm going to do one more version of All Lang Sign in this batch, but I may do one to two Christmas reaction, Christmas music reactions still. I know it'll be like a full week after Christmas, but... The point is, um, I just wanted to do at least one more from each of those albums, so that's the plan. In any case, let me know what you think of this, and see you next time. Peace.